Welcome to the 2016 Xavier Folkman Coaching Games. Today we're going to see four managers take on a tough coaching problem as they compete head-to-head -head and go for the gold. So let's introduce our four competitors. Give it up for Stan from Accounting. He runs the Accounts Receivable team and enjoys Lumberjack Reality TV. Next is Amy, head of her legal department and Yelp Super Reviewer. Our third competitor comes all the way from HR and describes himself as an avid indoorist. Meet Carlos. And last but not least, let's have a big hand for Michelle, a self-proclaimed coaching expert. So let's get going with our third event, the Ladder of Inference. The best coaches know how to face down this daunting obstacle whenever and wherever it shows up. So here's the situation. You see one of your team members blatantly texting on their phone during the big quarterly meeting. So what do you do? Let's see if our four managers can figure it out. On your mark, get set, go. There's Amy off to an early lead. Michelle's right behind her. And there's Stan making a real push. And that's time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how high our competitors got. Well, now that's interesting. Carlos didn't even bother to move. Stan climbed to adding meaning, Michelle to drawing conclusions, and Amy made it all the way to the top by taking action. Looks like Amy is our obvious winner. Or is she? In fact, she's not. What a stunning turn of events, ladies and gentlemen. The goal of the Ladder of Inference is to not climb it at all. And because Amy made it all the way to taking action, she's really going to pay a price when it comes to her team member. And next, we find Michelle. Climbed high enough to draw conclusions about what was going on with all that texting. Unfortunately, that could be dangerous for all involved. Stan managed to do a bit better. He stopped at adding meaning which runs the risk of him imposing his own ideas about what he observed, which may or may not be correct. And our winner who never yielded to the temptation to climb the ladder of inference, Carlos! When confronted with the observable data of the moment, he was never lured into making a perilous climb. Sure, it was tempting to get annoyed when I saw my team member texting during the big meeting. I could have really taken it personally, but what if it was an emergency or something? It's just not worth making inferences about something when you don't really know what's going on. And so here's our medal roundup for our third event. Carlos takes the gold, Stan the silver, and Michelle the bronze. Stay tuned next week as our competitors go head to head in the strengths power lift. From all of us at Zanger Folkman, good night everybody.